Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Davis Homes Design Trends. Today, we're partnering with Sherwin-Williams, and let's talk some paint. So let's get started. We are going to go over the basics of paint, the paints that Davis Homes uses. We're going to talk about interior stains and paints, and then how, if you have any questions, we'll be available to answer those. We do ask with a number of people online today watching this video, if you would please mute your phones and your computers, and we'll have a uh, email address that you can reach out if you have questions during this presentation. My name is Heather Aka. I'm the VP of Operations here at Davis Homes. I've been in the building industry for over 30 years, and I can say I truly enjoy this series and getting to know more about our partners and having you understand the products that we put in our homes to make your Davis home truly unique. If you have any questions during this presentation, please email us at info at davishomes.com. Bridget's monitoring any emails, so if you have questions, we'll take time to answer those at the end of the presentation. Good morning, everyone. My name is Dan Panett, and I am the local builder rep here for Sherwin-Williams in Indianapolis and the surrounding areas. Um, I've been with Sherwin-Williams just over 11 years, and I can honestly tell you days like today are why I love my job because I get to work with some forward thinking people like Bridget and Heather um, and ultimately collaborate on some neat projects like this here, for you, uh, here with you today. So looking forward to it and uh, yeah, it should be a great presentation. So thanks for having us on. Hi, I'm Lee Schmidt. I'm the color program supervisor for uh, in Indianapolis for Sherwin-Williams. I have been with them for five years. Um, prior to that, I've worked with other interior design firms, helping with art uh, consulting, paint color selection and that. So yeah, I'm really excited too. I, I, in fact, I actually had a brief stint with working with uh, Davis Homes uh, about 15 years ago. So it's kind of fun to be uh, interacting and partnering with you all again. So I'll give you guys a little background um, on Sherwin-Williams. Uh, we were founded in 1866 as a leading global company engaged in the manufacture, distribution, and sale of coatings and related products to uh, several segments, including professional, industrial, commercial, and retail. Um, obviously today we will be covering the uh, um, new construction side of that as it pertains to residential. So in that said, we aim to cover the earth to become the world leader in the world of paint in addition to this, we remain committed to providing quality products and service to the pursuit of excellence and to the achievement of the highest standards in the industry. And, you know, we'd like to take on partners such as Davis to reflect that. So we're, uh, we're very lucky to have them and, uh, and share this opportunity with you guys today. So I, uh, Lee and I are kind of going to give you guys a little bit of a, uh, overview. I'm going to be more on the technical side with the products, whereas, uh, as you'll find out very quickly, Lee is a color genius, so <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll do my best here to match her in uh, kind of uh, my abilities. So I wanted to touch on um, a product that Davis Homes uses for their interior walls called Sure Scrub. Um, and the, you know, the name kind of speaks for itself. The idea behind Sure Scrub is that when you're building your home, you know, you're going to have your questions about the scrubability, whether or not it cleans well. Um, you know, is it easy to paint over? Is it going to be durable when you're when you're moving in or you know you have an addition to your family whether that's a, a pet with a dog or a cat or maybe you know you have a little one on the way you know things that you're going to wonder about as you're uh, you know moving into your new home and what sure scrub does is it kind of takes care of those uh those characteristics for you uh, it's incredibly washable uh burnish resistant um and it gives you a lasting appearance so that you don't feel like six months after you moved in you know you're already having major issues with your walls. Um, you know, that's why Davis is, has opted to, uh, to use a high-end product like Sure Scrub um, for their end users. Um, another great port, um, characteristic of Sure Scrub is that it touches up very well. Um, you know, we don't expect everyone to be painters. Uh, we're, the, we're kind of the experts with that, and, and Davis hires really good painters to, to put it on the wall at the time of closing and, and come back and touch it up, but it, it's inevitable that run into a time when you need to touch it up yourself um, post warranty two three years down the road 
And what Sure Scrub is going to do is give you that color consistency over time. Um, and really, it's, it's incredibly user friendly. So, you know, along that lines, when you're talking about color, it comes in a flat, uh, a flat finish and a wide range of colors from your, your light colors and grays all the way up to your, your deeper shades, maybe your dark grays and, and things of that nature. So it's kind of a background on the product. It's a, it's a great go-to. Um, you know, from there, we've got a, a great option that Davis offers in an upgrade package um, to Duration Home. And this is, this is one of our premium signature products that we offer. Um, you know, the name, again, you know, we're, uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type of thing. We, we, try to, we try to, you know, cast our name with, with how the product performs. So with duration, um, you're going to see an even more uh, increased benefit of, of durability, wipeability, burnish resistance, um, and the ability to clean it. Uh, with that, um, as an upgrade from the Sure Scrub, it has antimicrobial agents built in, which is great um, for your kitchens, bathrooms, you know, places where you're going to have temperature chain, uh, change, uh, hot and cold, things of that nature. Anytime that you're going to have a, you know, running faucet or, uh, you know, any, any sort of steam, whether you're cooking or, or you're in the bathroom, that's kind of what that antimicrobial built in is made for to, uh, to give you some relief um, for anything that could possibly grow. Uh, touched on a little bit, it's moisture resistant. Um, so you're gonna, you're gonna get a, a similar finish um, in as little as two hours, you know, post, uh, post steam, post anything where you're having a major temperature it's gonna return to normal without you feeling like your paint has been compromised. So, um, you know, you get a little kid, puts a crayon on the wall, you get something where, you know, maybe you have some backsplash issues with some spaghetti or, you know, who knows, um, it's gonna be able to be wiped down quick touch up, uh, run a uh, little whiz roller over it and uh, should return back to, uh, to the original finish. Um, outside of the flat, um, there's also a matte satin and semi-gloss uh, availability in sheens. And um, it's available in all colors, which is, uh, you know, it gives even more of a, of a variety to choose from in addition to the, uh, to the Sure Scrub if you choose that option. So it's backed by a lifetime warranty I'm here to uh, to give even more knowledge on the duration um, via Davis, via their painters, and, and in some instances, even with the homeowners when they want to get a little a little more education on that um, on that end of the product. So um, that's kind of what we wanted to touch on for your interior options. And uh, if there's any questions at the end, I'm more than glad to, to field them for you. All right. Well, thank you, Dan and Lee, for being on this uh, call with us today. Let's get started. We're going to start with interior design trends. And if you've been to our centerpiece homes uh, the last two years, you're going to see some very different ideas and feels and textures to our homes. So why don't we get started uh, with our interior design trends that we've seen over the last couple of years. Uh, hopefully you've been to our model home in Fishers by now, but if not, this gives you a good idea of what you're going to expect there. Gone. I think lately are people wanting a lot of deep color. If you look at this overall picture of this home, we've got white cabinets with an accent of gray for the island. You've got uh, wood tones with the table and the floors. You've got white, bright, crisp colors in your our accented trim uh, and the beadboard by the fireplace. And then you've got a lighter color gray wall. And then the pop of color comes from places like the chairs, the throws. So we're seeing a lot of people just really, I don't want to say monochromatic, but just a color palette that is pleasing and comforting and calming to the eye. And then the pops of color come with the decor. Definitely. Um, this is a very good representation, I think, of where a lot of people are trying to go um, as we're all spending more time at home <laughs> for a variety of reasons. Um, we want that to be a retreat and a comforting space. So it's very important to get a little bit of color, something that's beyond sterile hospital white. We want a warm white or we want a gray, uh, a warm gray, such as with On the Rocks. On Rocks, it, it kind of, it's, it's a gray, but depending on your lighting, it can go, you can really see the gray or it just kind of looks like an off-white. Got a little bit of a grayish undertone. Um, one of my favorite made up words, gray, beige, grayish. Um, but it gives that little bit of warmth and allows you an ultimate and flexibility in terms of changing out those 
other things, you know, the, the throws and the pillows and that. And it is awesome with the warm woods that people are really looking for. It's just a very comforting, peaceful retreat. Oh. Phone call. <laughs> this is from the 2020 Centerpiece Home back in January, which to a lot of us, January feels like it was years and years ago. Um, but Definitely. again, you can see when, when our d decorator first talked about she wanted to do white walls, we were like, what? White walls? But look at how amazing this looks. Trim details on the wall, painted with a white paint. You can see that on the left side of the great room, uh, the picture on your left. So you can see that it still gives visual interest and texture. And then it just with the all the warm accents. We have stains, we have, you know, one of the things about Davis Homes is we do allow a little more flexibility than some other production builders in town. So when you want to stain and have beams, those are options that we make available. If you want it painted, we'll paint it. If you want it stained, we'll stain it. And we use all Sherwin-Williams uh, paints and stains. So we know that these items kind of all go together. Uh, later on, we'll probably see some stain that actually matches cabinets. Uh, one of the great things that Sherwin-Williams provides us as a service is making sure that we have continuity when you want continuity. When you want accents and you want um, differentiation, like the case of the wood beams that you see in these pictures, they help us through that, which in ultimately helps you design your home. So you're personalizing it within the options that we offer. So I think that this just shows that the accents, the deep tones of the green couch and the wood floors and the, the warm textures of the uh, shelving in the kitchen and the beams really just give a beautiful contrast, but still feeling very clean, very open and very relaxing when you see these color combinations. One of the things that I liked about this particular um, home this year when they chose uh, Soji White for the walls, um, that's definitely a warm white, a little warmer. It's got ever so tiny, a little bit of green in it actually. And it actually is the one that is paired with the worldly gray, um, which was used on the exterior. So I felt like that was a nice little nod segue from going from the worldly gray on the outside into that shade lighter on, this, on the palette strip that would take you right into Soji White. So when they mix those in the same room, um, they really played well off each other. And that's just, yeah, kind of one of the things we, that we can help you with at Sherwin-Williams to create that whole palette. So there's a nice flow from the inside of your house into the, or from the outside to the inside. This is one of our newer models in uh, Fortville. If you've not seen our Park Creek collection, it's kind of a throwback to the old four square homes from the farmhouses of the turn of the century to the 20s and 30s. <clears throat> you know, one of the things that we've noticed too is people are mixing not only metals for like faucets and lighting, but they're doing that with uh, paint as well. You can see instead of having your typical, you're seeing a stained handrail and newel posts we've painted these and we've actually painted the wood steps going up the stairs again these are some of the flexibility of options that we offer here at davis homes where other builders may say nope you get this or that um, the other thing is we've painted it the color of the walls just in a different sheen just to give you that idea um, of how those colors can go together and then you can see the boot bench which is a very popular option across uh, many home builders and, and many customers want that kind of drop down when you come in the door. What a great pop of color that is with St. Bart's. Um, really offsets and, and gives a nice color contrast and it becomes a focal feature, quite frankly, for what you're looking to do and, and the options that you're using. The other thing that I like about our options when, when you upgrade with us, when you're going to Sure Scrub and you're going to Duration, we upgrade the wall, the trim and doors to a high gloss white. So it really, again, helps offset and give pops of color in places for like doors and trim. And when you, you change those and you upgrade those as well, you want those to stand out. That is an investment to upgrade those kinds of items. So we help uh, help you work through that as well when you're upgrading your paint colors, helping with just the other finishes as well. 
The difference that the paint looks from flat to gloss, depending on some of the colors, it can be quite a bit different. So having that flexibility within duration, like you said, upgrading the trim package, because you can have the white walls and the same white trim, but if you use a high gloss on that trim and a flatter mat on the walls, you're still going to see that color with more depth than you would if you don't have that expanse. So having a product that has that sort of flexibility is, is very, is awesome. And yeah, that St. Bart's is part of our timeless collection. It's actually been, um, I'm seeing that pop up as an option for an island, um, as well as exteriors. When we get to those, that's been a, an interesting color to bring in for that moody, sort of a moody blue color. This is another great way of showing different colors, textures, and feels to a room. Here from the 2019 Centerpiece Home, that retreat of the master suite, warm and cozy by using colors, deeper tones in the color palette, and then mixing in some stain uh, with the trim and the uh, chair, or the, uh, excuse me, up on the ceiling. Uh, and then in the, uh, Coffered ceiling using those stains again just really create the different tones and the uniqueness of this room while using paint and then we obviously have an accent wall of wallpaper but you can see and feel just the warmth and just kind of the relaxation um, you know we talk about just what paint can do to the, your overall mood in a room and this really is a great way of going in the opposite direction with a little more color, a little deeper tones, the oversized furniture really makes it feel like this is a, a throwback, uh, you know, grand mansion from the 30s and 40s. The, uh, yeah, I love the beam in the ceiling. Right, it, it, instead of painting, you know, in this case, the stain, it just adds so much warmth and depth without committing to a color and adding more going on. It's, it's a much more subtle way to draw your attention. Um, yeah, this bedroom, um, I, as I remember it, it just, it came across so much more dark and moody and cozy and, and very much like a retreat. Um, it's interesting with the stains, it's like everything is either a, like a cedar or really light, <clears throat> or we got those medium tones like what's in the brown and then the pops of espresso. Because so same thing with mixing metals, I think there are areas uh, within the home inside and out that you can mix some stain elements as well to get more depth. Again, here we have white is no longer boring. That is no longer about, hey, it's my first home kind of thing. People want that light and bright, but you can see how it really does help in the accents of the tile in the fireplace and the mantles and then bringing in the wood tones of the coffee bar and then just having a little hint of color uh, behind that coffee bar. So I feel like with working with Davis Homes, we have two designers that can help you work through this. I'm right now uh, reviewing a customer's home package and they did all sorts of items like this and it just really makes their home unique. It looks like it's a custom home, but yet you're working within our options and the features and the products like Sherwin-Williams paints and stains to really make your home have that custom, unique, one-of-a-kind feel. Yeah, that Pine Ridge is a really nice medium tone stain that brings out the warmth in like the Soji white and then that little bit of that greenish gray and that escape gray adds just that little bit to set, make it stand out without being um, what most people think of as an accent wall, you know, go into those deep, dark colors and that are intense. Something subtle like that just adds that little bit of depth and dimension without overpowering the room. Okay, exteriors. This is the fun part. Most yes. people have a lot of anxiety over exteriors. How do I make this all work together? But with Sherwin-Williams, we have coordinated, I think it's 30 different uh, combinations for things like shakes, board and batten and siding. However, because we allow a little more flexibility than other builders, we do allow you to look at that color palette from Sherwin-Williams um, and really help you make some unique color choices. Because quite frankly, 
houses start to look the same, how do we differentiate? It's the curb appeal. So let's look at some of our exteriors, some of what we've designed, and actually some of what our, our customers have put together to really give you a great perspective of what home design trends on the exterior look like. So here's one of our most popular floor plans, the Bradbury. Um, we use LP siding, which is a primed product. So the exterior paints that we use from Sherwin-Williams look and color beautifully. Um, and here's a great example of, of mon I don't want to necessarily say monotone, but having the same color shakes as lap siding. It's a unique texture, the bright uh, exterior trim gives it a nice contrast without looking too dated. And then we have the same wagon wheels, uh, gable accents, and craftsman posts. Again, the staining of those items are something that, that Davis Homes, that is an option for us, and you'll see quite often here, not every builder in town will let you do that. It's the elevation is the elevation, so we still allow you to personalize those elevations with using products like paste and stain. Yeah, that was a beautiful one. Web gray is, is a gorgeous gray outside, but that lighter, yeah, simple. If you added another color, like to the shake, it had been too much. So that, that's a really pretty one. Again, mixing and matching of those colors. You know, here there's nothing that necessarily stands out. There's not, not necessarily a pop of color, but using some contrast with the with the extra white trim, and especially when we're looking at the windows, trimming out the windows and looking at all the posts on the on the front porch, it really just helps offset and accentuate all the details of your exterior on your home. Yeah, that inky blue, that's a that's a beautiful, rich blue when somebody really wants a blue. A lot of times people want more of a gray that just has a blue undertone it kind of depends but that's that that's that's going for it which is fun which i uh, yeah the exteriors have gotten a lot more fun over the last few years everybody's kind of tired of the beige and the, the shades of beige <laughs> and a few light grays and are really pushing the envelope and taking things to that next level where you get a lot of uh your personality on the exterior of your home and yes it does create a lot of anxiety because you can't just repaint it like the bedroom and everybody <laughs> by you envision or pointing and staring. But if you uh, put, you know, go for it and put some and have all that, it's the white, like you said, it's the white that really makes it so that you can have those blues and grays together. Really break it up and give it some, some, so much depth. This is one of our newer plans out in uh, Park Creek, out in Fortville. And again, looking at the different, differentiating with board and batten and your lap siding with your creamy undertones of your trim, really helps offset and, and really bring out all of the architectural features on the exterior while it's still pretty much the same color. And so mm -hmm. we, you know, really pride ourselves in, in having these kinds of choices for our customers, as well as having Sherwin Williams help us put these kind of color combinations together. So it's something that is going to stand the test of time for color, but is still timeless, but is still fresh and fun and unique and really sets your home apart. Yeah, green and blue have been probably the most popular colors to add into the beiges and grays um, and that like you said it's a very good way showing the different materials up because people all the time will ask me well do i need a pop of color here or there and it's like you're going to get a different light play on those different textures um, and as lion like in this instance where you've got the roof and you've got the the stone or brick brick that's down at the bottom that kind of grounds that and then in between is you know where you can bring in the in, in the colors and there's plenty you again if you put another color on that i think you take away from the the natural beauty of the materials that are used that's yeah oh and here we are white on the outside we've had a lot of customers really excited about white with black accents you can see um, this customer did black windows we do offer black on black windows and then just that the, the hint of color really just comes in the accents there's one corbel very understated 
um, but yet very elegant in my opinion, very timeless in my opinion, and really just, again, continues to differentiate your Davis home versus maybe some of the other builders in town. This also would look op um, awesome in a completely opposite, doing something uh, like a peppercorn with the same light wood, but do that where it's all the dark. That's a, another look that on a, because this house has got such great clean lines and that porch again. So the design of it lends it to go either bright white or you could, like I said, go complete opposite and go the really dark and dramatic. Again, here's another mix and match of uh, material and colors. We're using board and batten. Um, one of the other things that we've, we've been interested in over the course of the last several years is really about less masonry materials and more about the different accents and architectural features. So while we have a little bit of accent with the wainscot across the front and then the tapered columns with a little bit of brick, again, it just the colors that are used in this particular um, ex on this particular exterior, excuse me, which is our model there in, in Fortville in Park Creek. Um, it really, it kind of blends in with the gray over the, um, the garage master or garage bonus room. So you really kind of just using materials and, and colors that all blend together, all go together, but yet just really offer pops of color and really show those details on the exterior. Yeah, nobody wants to think about repainting their home down the road, but you know, they'll be able, whoever would want to do that down the road by not having as much of the masonry will have, you know, can, can do that. If, when it's time to repaint, if they want to go in a different direction with that trim, the, the wagon, yeah, it, it, they'll be able to pick any color that they want. So that, like I said, nobody wants to think about that at the new home stage, but <laughs> down the road, when it's time to redo it, and I, and I have to say, I've had people, um, take pictures of this particular model and, and reach out to me to say, oh, what is that? I want those colors. So it's very popular. Again, another great way to show the darker tones that are available. And when you put it with the lighter color trim, just really offsets and gives just a almost a regal appearance to me uh, with this elevation. And then just to give it, just to lighten the mood a little bit, having some um, shakes that are painted to what looks to be like, almost like a stain color. That's actually a paint, not a stain, but you can see it really brings out the depth of the shakes. And then with the other trim accents and then the deep blue color, it just is a beautiful regal looking elevation that's unique and again, with Davis, you, we allow you that flexibility to mix and match and make some of these color choices um, to really differentiate your home and personalize it the way you want and the way you want to see your new home. Love the yellow front door. Love it. That's a fun little way to add, you know, something else to it um, besides that, because that salty dog is a pretty intense blue. It's pretty, you know, it, it's it's got, um, a lot of curb appeal and so softening it with the crossroads on the shake and then that pop of fun yellow uh, again set off with those white posts it's a very classic look well dan and lee thank you for being our partners with sherwin williams and davis homes we've been uh, longtime partners as lee was commenting um, and we appreciate the fact that they're available to answer not only our questions, but your questions. So if there's ever a time that you need to reach out, uh, Sharon Williams is definitely a company that you want to, to talk to. Hey, Dan, you're on mute. <laughs> hey, you still there? <laughs> yeah, we're still here. <laughs> no, I uh, no, I wanted to say I can't thank you guys enough. Um, this is really neat, you know, to collaborate like this and, um, you know, just kind of something forward thinking and really creative. Um, so as Heather said, guys, you know, feel free to reach out, um, whether it be through Davis or us direct, we're more than happy to answer any questions and really, really enjoyed being on with you today. Thank you so much.
We appreciate your time. And also, if you want to get a hold of us just to inquire about Davis Homes, about both our communities and our On Your Lot program, you can email us at newhome at davishomes.com. You can call us. We're on Instagram. And then you can check out our website at davishomes.com. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate your time and we look forward to our next series. Uh, we'll be reaching out real soon to let you know what we're going to be talking about next. Thank you. Thanks.